Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing great. It has been a long time since I installed a custom ROM in my device because I was stuck with the Vivo phone and you know that the custom ROM support for Vivo phones is really bad. And I once had the Redmi K20 Pro which is an excellent device with great custom ROM support and I used to install a lot of custom ROMs in that device. But recently I got my hands on this amazing Redmi Note 10 Pro and I was waiting to install a custom ROM in this device. And uh, before installing a custom ROM, you need an unlocked uh, bootloader and that's one more story when it comes to unlocking a bootloader in your Xiaomi device. Sometimes uh, this Xiaomi unlock tool will ask you to wait for like 7 days, 14 days and the same, thing, uh, the same thing happened with me as well. I had to wait for 7 days and I was finally able to successfully unlock the device bootloader. And if you are planning to unlock your device bootloader or your Xiaomi device bootloader, I will, I will leave a link in the video description. I have formulated some tips for you guys which might help you in unlocking the bootloader in your own Android uh, device. Now coming back to custom ROMs, I know that there are a lot of custom ROMs for Redmi Note 10 Pro but Pixel Experience has always been my favorite custom ROM because it works well with most of the Xiaomi devices like it has a low, uh, it has less or no bugs. And uh, one more thing for installing uh, Pixel Experience is that it comes with Google applications so you don't have to flash them separately. So that's one more reason I love Pixel Experience. Now uh, let's get the video started and see how Pixel Experience based on Android 12 performs with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. First of all, let me show you the Android version here. I will just uh, go to the device settings, then about phone and here you can see it is running on Android 12. So there is no issue about that. And uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is the overall look and feel. I was really excited about uh, trying Android 12 and yes, it was uh, really worth fitting and Pixel Experience made it possible. The overall look and feel is amazing here. The updated notification bar is super awesome and you can directly get access to your privacy dashboard. Like if you long press on this uh, camera or mic access, it will directly take you to the permissions where you can check the permissions for different applications or you can uh, directly get access to a privacy dashboard as well. Now uh, coming to theming options, long press on home screen will give you access to a wallpaper and style where you can change the wallpaper from the already provided categories or you can even select your own photos. You can also enable these themed icons which will change the color of your home screen uh, icons based on the wallpaper color you are using. However, this feature is still in beta and only few of the popular applications are covered and they will be themed. And as you might already know that Android 12 adopts color based on the wallpaper you are using so that feature is working absolutely fine here. Uh, the wallpaper color will apply to pop-up menu on home screen, notification bar, device settings or even the default device keyboard. You can also choose various other colors from uh, theming options based on your preference which is a great, which is a great little feature here. I also wanted to show you the display settings as well. Let me just uh, open the uh, device settings here. So you have an option to choose between 60Hz and 120Hz which is a great thing and always on display will be turned off by default. And if you want to enable always on display you have to go to the lock screen settings then uh, scroll down to the bottom and uh, you can see this ambient display and you can enable this always on option uh, from here. You can also choose from these sensor based options like a notification on a pickup, a phone pickup or a raised wake. So there's a, the, and these work perfectly fine. One more feature I would like to mention is about the notifications. If you go to the device settings and notifications, you can enable this uh, notification history so that you don't miss any important uh, notifications. And it will show you a complete list of notifications that you receive in your, uh, in your Android device. You can also see other options like uh, notification bubbles, notification dots and enhanced notifications which also work uh, fine here. And you also get these notification indicators if any application is using your device camera, location or microphone which was like missing in other Android versions. But this was actually a much needed privacy feature and is uh, present here. This other feature I would like to mention, uh, I would like to show you guys is the recent application screen. So you have these two quick uh, options here, one is this select feature and so you can select any text from any application which would be present in the recent uh, this, in this recent menu. And the second is the screenshot option which lets you take a quick screenshot and you can quickly edit the screenshot as well. So these are some really important features they have included in this uh, Android 12 and this Pixel experience based on Android 12. Now uh, coming to the Google applications uh, that come with this uh, Pixel experience ROM, uh, you get all the essential applications but I just uh, disabled most of them like Google Chrome, Google Calendar, Google Play services for AR and Google Message and I'm just using the open source alternatives for all these uh, applications. I have already made some videos on open source alternatives for the default or Google Play Store applications. I will leave all the links in the video description. And if you take a look at this uh, camera here, this is the basic camera provided here but I installed two different uh, Google cameras and uh, they are working perfectly fine. They are completely stable and there, there is no issue with uh, both of these uh, Google cameras. One is the Urinx Gcam version 7.3 and the second one is TR Camera Xmas release. I will show you some of the pictures taken with the, both these Google cameras so that you have a better idea about these. So let's take a look at the photos first.
I will leave the links to both these uh, Google cameras in the video description. You can take a look at them and maybe try them out uh, as well. So this was all about the good things about this ROM, like which I really enjoyed about this ROM. But there are some of the features which are not working properly, like they were not so good and I wanted to share them with you guys. And uh, let's start with the battery life first. I would like to show you some screenshots I took and I noticed that Google Play services is consuming too much battery power. Uh, like during the night time when the device was in the idle mode, the battery drop was too much. And as you can see from this screenshot, it is like 40% of the 45% of the battery usage was from Google Play services. When the phone was not even getting used. I have some other screenshots as well and you can see the battery was uh, being used too much and this was really not expected. I don't know if anyone using this ROM has noticed uh, this in their uh, devices. Please let me know in the comment section below. And the second issue I found is that sometimes YouTube videos or Instagram Reels video will stop automatically and suddenly. However, this does not happen most of the time. It is very rare, but it happened with me like two or three times and I thought to let you guys know. And uh, the third issue I faced is with animations. If anyone of you does not like animations in your device and you turn it off, then uh, that's, when, that's when it gets weird. Like you will get some stutters here and there. And I also noticed when you turn off animations and open YouTube, it will start with this uh, loading screen first. And you also might find this fingerprint sensor less responsive in this ROM compared to the default MIUI ROM, but that happens uh, very rarely. It is it is not as fast as the MIUI, uh, the default MIUI ROM, but it's it's okay. It works uh, nine out of ten times. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is in the device settings. If I go to these uh, security settings here, it is always asking me that uh, security might be at risk because I do not have the screen lock, which is, which is not correct actually. I have uh, both the fingerprint as well as the pin code in my phone. So uh, I have no idea why this is being displayed. If you guys have any idea, please let me know in the comment section below. So uh, these were some of the issues that I faced with this ROM. But if you look at the overall features, this is definitely one of the best custom ROMs for Redmi Note 10 Pro. And maybe the issues I mentioned are for the unit I am using here and you might not face the same issues in your own Android uh, device. So this was my brief review of uh, Pixel Experience based on Android 12 for Redmi Note 10 Pro. And I hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also take a look at my other videos and I'm sure you'll find them helpful. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video.